Hey, gals and guys, it's Christopher Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com, and this time out, tables. We're going to talk about SharePoint tables. Now, I've made another video on how to do tables in SharePoint, and this is kind of stupid because, well, I'm kind of stupid to the fact that I never even thought of this. <laughs> and it's so simple. I'm sure other people have thought about it um, or thought of it and have done it. I've never seen it in a video or anything. Um, but I'm sure people have figured it out. It's not very hard. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So if you make a normal table um, in SharePoint, this is how you basically do it. And as you can see, there's there's you're very limited on what you can do. You can't really merge anything unless you use, <clears throat> excuse me, unless you use, um, you go in and fart around with the coding, the CSS and the HTML and everything. But you can actually use Word. Now, Word, you got to know how to use Word. And I'm going to do a simple table um, with you folks. And then from there, you're just going to have to play around with it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a more advanced Word table tutorial. I don't think it's really needed. Um, tables aren't that incredibly hard. So if you do a new Word document, just go into uh, Insert. And I'm going to do an easy one to start with just to show you where I'm going with this. And then we can do a more dynamic one at the end of the video if you don't want to sit through the whole thing. So let's just do, I don't know, we'll just do this for shits and giggles. And we'll just put in test here. We'll put in content here. And then um, let's see, we'll just merge these. So if you just grab left click and, and drag, you can merge tables. And let's just insert, I don't know, let's insert a picture or whatever I've got here. This is the last video I created. So let that load. We'll insert that there. And then, um, I don't know, we'll merge these things here. I don't know. I'm just doing this awfully, off the cuff, awfully, off the, <laughs> off the cuff, obviously. All right. So this is just a general table you can create in Word, obviously. So what we want to do is just grab all this shit. And uh, I'm just going to control and copy. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to create a new text box from Microsoft, or, um, yeah, from SharePoint. I'm going to hit this. And then everything is going to load in. Um, you can shrink this, obviously, if you need to. So there you go. There's your merging cells. Um, there's everything that you want to do with SharePoint and you can't do with SharePoint. And I just, someone asked me a question on the forms, SharePoint forms tutorial on how to do that. And I had no answer. And then I thought I was farting around with tables that were. And I said, well, you know, they're both Microsoft. They usually talk to each other. So, hmm. So I just copied and pasted, and there it is. So you can do a similar thing um, with Excel. Now, you know how you go into um, here, and there's not really a, a place where you can exact your cells, right? You kind of got to eyeball it. But in Excel, you can actually go up here, and you can set the width to a certain point. You can exact it, right? You can't do that in SharePoint. So if you do that in Excel and make your table, and you can just grab on to um, whatever your table is. I'm just going to grab onto these. And um, I'll just make another of this. And then we'll just go ahead and paste it. And that's Control V. And the color did not come over, but we can um, add a color. I wonder why the color didn't come over. And then you can just get rid of all this crap. That's just the code. Um, hit Delete here. And hmm. Well, that's interesting because if we go over, let's do, so you can do that for, for that. And if you want to put in the color, you can do, damn it, <laughs> damn it. You could do something like this and then have a color in there. Okay. So let's go back here. Let's make another table for this. So um, stop, let me make another table. And we'll go insert or yeah, insert table and we'll do this. And then okay, we want the top to have a cell shading, something light, maybe something like this, or maybe different color. Let's do different colors for each cell. Can we do that? All right, so cell shading, we can do this color. And then this color, we can do another color, and then so on and so forth. And, and you get the idea. All right, and then we can 
should be able to insert in here. Get this out of the way. You know, insert whatever you need if you need to add. And we can do like one, two, three, A, B, C, D, E. And then we'll just grab this whole thing. So control and copy, go over to the sandbox. Let's just do another one. And then scroll down the bottom on order. So now you got a lover, you can do all your different colors and stuff like that. So it uh, comes over from Word. Uh, and why it doesn't come over from Excel, I'm not really sure. But, uh, oh well. But anyways, you can uh, make these even to what you want. I mean, you can go back and, and screw around with them. But if you want them to a certain length, then or width, I should say, or length, um, then you can do that right here in Excel, and um, then you can do that in Word and have a field day. Obviously, these are very simple ones that we did. You can go in and uh, make more dynamic ones, and then uh, pull everything over into your SharePoint. Let's get rid of this. All right, gals and guys, that's a tip for you on tables for SharePoint. Um, I thought it was pretty cool when I did that, and I said, oh, that's pretty cool that I did that. <laughs> All right, gals and guys, I hope you got something out of this. I appreciate you as always. Please subscribe. Please share. Please like. Please hit the bell for updates. Have a good day. And that's about it. I'll go make another video. I'll go make some SharePoint tables and life will be grand. All right. See you all later. Thank you.